Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars review. And today we are reviewing the Rogue Shadow uh, from of the Force Unleashed from 2008. So on the front of the box here, it has the border that's just like the 2007 border, at least until it went over to the white clone trooper border later in the year or whatever. You can see a picture of the set in action and the three minifigs included, and then. Featured in Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the game, of course, video game, of course. And then uh, recommended ages 8 through 12, set number 7672, has 482 pieces. And flip to the back to see a picture of all the features of it and how to swap pieces of the minifigs and add for three of the other sets released at the time. And on to the booklet, which comes with two booklets, which same picture is on the front and everything. And on nothing for that one, just a couple of steps. But for the second booklet, it is add for the online survey with the 2007 Naboo fighter, of course. Then add for Lego Club, add for some of the other 2008 sets. And then a picture of it again, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, in the last steps. First of which is one of the big draws of it is the Battle Damage Darth Vader. So as you see, the torso print of which is quite similar to most Darth Vader minifigs, and the face print of which has just a slight bit of the helmet piece, but or of the helmet break just kind of broken off, and has the simple dot this pupil effect. Well, this being from 2008, and then the next year 2009 was the 10th anniversary, so. They kept it up until then. But no back torso print, of course. But a little thing that I have heard that in Jang Brick's review on this set, hang on, just a sec, that for this neck attachment piece, it's actually a scuba diver, or a scuba diver's helmet piece, but just turn sideways. Interesting use of piece. But although with this in the set you also get the traditional helmet piece that they've always used until about uh, until 2014 of course. And let me get this back on of course. And get the lightsaber which is of course the gray color that they started using at this time. Uh, not sure when they started using the regular silver color, but yeah, whatever. And next to which is Juno Eclipse. And now the face print of which is quite unique that we haven't seen with most other figures, and still having the like, like, uh, hair printed on kind of effect like they did a lot in the 2000s, of course, or early 2000s, of course. And the body print, which almost like most Imperial officers, and have a piece also similar to that. And no alternate face or a double sided face or back torso print, yeah. But although, also in this set, can like swap it out with one of the like blonde hair pieces, and give her a more proper look from the game. is which of what the box calls a uh, dark Vader's apprentice or as in usually called in the game Galen Merrick or something and well the torso print kind of interesting that has a bit of a blood mark on it well making this one of the only figures to ever have a blood mark on it and the uh, face print which is a frowny Lego face with the simple dot his pupil effect which we don't see very much and the back torso, no back torso print, nor a double side face since it's an older figure and 
hairpiece that was used since for a long time, of course. And that was it with the mini fig selection. So, oh, which is a interesting, which I think are all exclusive to this set. And now on to the Rogue Shadow itself. And so now for a good brief history between LEGO and Star Wars video games is this was like the first time they've ever based upon a video game, of course. At least until in 2012 and 13, did the same but with the Old Republic game. And then I think in 2016 and 19, just simple battle packs based upon Battlefront. And of course, also did Overwatch and Minecraft. So this which was what helped to get that thought going for them. So as for all the views of this vehicle, so as this front view, you see it has a couple of these older style like support pieces or whatever, and you probably noticed that a lot of it is like asymmetric, but that's okay because in the game it is like that. And also get a couple of these other odd pieces and some use of the jagged slopes right here and here and then some of the other shaping of it as you see it has a lot of like small plates for greepling and all it has this front area which is supposed to be a cockpit piece but similar to most TIE fighters and all but it's kind of blocked by all these for whatever reason and then I'll have a couple of the like rounded slopes there. And the same with in the further back, of course. And have these like little large wing pieces and which also asymmetric. Like as you can see. Got one big large version of it, and then on the other side of which is like two small versions of then for the back part of it, which has the like cornered pieces like on the later slave ones and so like blue uh, plates and also look from the bottom is of like four of these like landing craft or landing gear pieces that you can fold up and maybe turn this down and it puts them forward putting it in its like flight mode be looking quite cool then. and you probably have noticed like why is the yellow gear sticking out for it well in the game it's supposed to have some sort of yellow energy source in it and the yellow gears are representing that of which was a good use of them and besides from that but now to some of the other features of it is where you can like fold this part. So a lot of accessibility to it. Just like we've seen in a Last Jedi set in 2017. You can flip this open and pull this up and got a couple of the guns there, of course. And then notice the little lever technic bit here. Pull that and oh, sorry about that. And get these two little little technic things with a cone sticking out. But of course, probably, which you can act as missiles, but you just pull out and don't launch or anything. And that, and then also this little bit you can like pull up and see a little, good, nice little seating area of which enough space to have sit your uh, pilot or to sit Jinorso in, since most of the times it's hurt from piloting this. But you ever wonder, can like sit another figure in it? Well, not enough space to do that, because it needs enough space for these technic beams, of course. But as in, to the other side, which you can see is have large pieces, or large slope pieces, like we've seen with General Grievous's fighter from 2007. So, a little reuse of that, but giving its proper shape. So, I guess it's probably like this. Their big use of snot, of course. And also, this other beam of which can like pull in and then 
one of the old time spring loaded launchers to it, but you have to do it when it's in flight mode with the landing gear out of the way. Where can I pull it up all the way and then just pull it like so? Because since it has a little three rod onto it to tap the plate there to make it fire, of course. You can see the shape of which quite interesting. So, and also quite a good enough size for the price point and all. And what else is there to say? Uh, not much, but yeah. And so now on to it, the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a pretty cool set for its time of 2008. But also being a Lego's first video game based set actually, since for it being the Force Unleashed game, well, I have played some of the Force Unleashed and kind of do enjoy it, so it's one which was an incentive to get this, but also a good incentive is for the minifig selection with Bow Down to Darth Vader and such. And, and also a little interesting, unique vehicle. That we never got to have a remake version of, but at least, but they do do that once in a while. Although this can kind of work with any collection with like some old Republic sets to the side or whatever. And so, if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. Or if you like playing the Force Unleashed game, well, go ahead and get it. And if you still have access to it in general, then I'd say also go ahead and get it. like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.